Stephen Curry. Do not rely on him to run your team. He was about five, six. <laughs> Looks like a little kid. 150 pounds soaking wet. That was when I first really understood. I'm different. Hey there, welcome back to Sui Speaks, where we do all types of reviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing a documentary called Underrated, made by AW4. It is called The Underrated story about Steph Curry. For those who do not know me, and for those who do, I love Steph Curry. He is one of my favorite players of all time. And by one of my favorite players, he is top two. And he's number two, because the dream is number one. But that's another story. I love Steph Curry. I absolutely think he's generational. There will never be a player like him. His work ethic, the way he is, everybody looked down on him. Nobody actually thought this kid, this guy, will end up being a four-time champion a two-time MVP, one-time NBA Finals MVP, but the only unanimous MVP in the entire NBA history. So Steph Curry's documentary is about his upbringing and what made him lead towards basketball. Yes, his dad played basketball. He was around basketball his entire life. Sports especially, his mom played volleyball. You see this little kid who knows he's not big. And like he says that throughout the entire documentary. You see how his parents motivated him, how they pushed him, they helped him. He almost gave up so many times and he kept on working for it. And his dad made him change his shot up. It, like all he could do was shoot. He knew it. He knew it. that was a talent. And his dad was like, if you're going to do something with it, your shot cannot be from your hips. It got to be higher, much quicker. And he used to practice that. All, and he got very good in school. Like, he got noticed, but he couldn't go to any school. He couldn't, like, the school he wanted to go to, the college he wanted to go to, he couldn't go to it because they could, wouldn't start him. And it wasn't beneficial for him, if, especially if he thought he can go in a direct. So this is a story about Steph Curry, his path towards the NBA, how he was overlooked by every single person. Nobody ever paid attention to him. He didn't have colleges running up to him. Except this one college, Davidson. And Davidson was not a known college. It was not known for its athletics. Only like 2,000 students go there. And it's an art college, I think. It's an art college. And Curry is recruited there by this coach. And the coach has the funniest story where he went to Curry's house. And they liked it. And they're like, we'll let you know. And he's calling them. And Curry's not picking up. And he keeps calling them. And I think two weeks pass by. Or nine, ten days, whatever. It passed by and then Curry calls him back. He goes, sorry coach, my mom took the phone away. And I really love the fact that his upbringing is so pure and honest and down to earth. Like his mom and dad kept him in check. They made sure what if he stepped or did something out of bound. And the, the reason why he got grounded or his phone taken away is because one of his friends texted him a curse word. And Sony I just like, nope took it away you see this little scrawny kid that is overlooked and he is not even appreciated and he goes to this no name school as david said it just completely changes the entire school's history not from the beginning he has struggles and i really liked that they were kept on showing his struggle and how much he struggled in the beginning and people believed him he kept working at it he never gave up he is always constantly working on his craft and making it better and making it better to make him himself basically disciplined enough to do everything he preaches on court off the court is remarkable and then you see the whole story about how he is going through pain because he hurt his ankle during the NBA season and he's uh and then he's completely college there's clips and montage where every time he get hurts his ankle and everybody's questioning is he going to be good people in the scouting report saying don't draft him he's not going to be anybody that you can rely on that's going to take you to championships and every time overlooked and when he took Davison in the NCAA tournament and he took him to the elite eight Yes, Elite Eight, because Steph Curry got doubled, and he passed the ball, and his boy missed. I like the camera shot in that one. Uh, it looked very promising, but you know the ending was sad. So it was not a Cinderella story for him, like you know how Michael Jordan got, LeBron got. He basically came under, and I really love that LeBron showed up to his game against Kansas City, and it's like LeBron doesn't know it yet. And it's like we're foreshadowing because we're the viewers. 
but that's his greatest rival ever. He's looking at his greatest rival ever. Somebody that's going to keep three championships away from him. Three. It was such a good watch. And then they showed about all his journey. A little small glimpse of his NBA thing. And I don't think you really need it because it's called underrated. He was underrated all the way until he proved everybody wrong. He proved all his doubters wrong. He's a four-time champion. One of the greatest players to ever touch the basketball. The greatest shooter of all time. His skills under the rim. His work ethics. Him. His off-the-ball movement. Steph Curry is the greatest off-the-ball player the league has ever seen. This guy... I think he basically is destroying athletic players' legs. You can go and read stories. Austin Reeves, uh, Delhi, freaking Jeff Teeks, every single person. There's so many people that say, yo, man, guarding. Even the Sacramento King, guarding Curry is the hardest task ever. Dell almost died guarding Curry. This guy is amazing on and off the court. And I absolutely adore this guy. I love him. He is the greatest. This documentary is a 9 out of 10. The only reason is not a 10. And I know I'm a Curry fan. I know the story. And that's the only reason I'm deducting it. And also, cinematically, it did not live up to how The Last Dance was. I felt like The Last Dance had that drama. I was missing the drama on this. I, I wish there was a little drama. A little bit more drama than the known. But yeah, 9 out of 10 is a great documentary. I think is on par with The Last Dance. Because Last Dance is a Jordan documentary. But it's about the Bulls. Yeah, that's me. Have you seen Underrated Steph Curry? Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you comment below if you have. If you haven't. Go check it out, man. This guy is unbelievable. It's on Apple. I pressed play and I could not stop watching it. I'm Suhi. Like and subscribe. Take care. See you later. Peace out.